beat. <laughs> there is something pretty major going on in my life right now. I just kind of want to keep it to myself um, and manifest it, but yeah, I'd just rather not talk about it. It has been chaotic ever since I got back from Palm Springs. We came back on Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my head was everywhere. <sighs> but finally settling down, I went to the gym just to clear my head and have a good release. But the night doesn't end here. I actually have to head to LAX because my childhood friend Elena is in town with her baby Cairo. Her flight gets in at 10.45. It is 8.43. Usually around this time I would probably be washed up in bed, but I like tidied up the house a bit. But anyways, I'm just gonna send out my good energy and pray that I get some good news back. Please. Please. <laughs> Carol, come say hi. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? Are you ready for this? Yeah. What is your name? Kyra. How old are you? Four. Who's your mother? Um, but what's her name? Elena Miska. Oh! Good job! You like Auntie Soso's house? You can get me. You can get me out like this. I just want to do this. Like this. Put this on here. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm having another methodology meal. Chicken meatballs with teriyaki. There's sushi rice, spinach, and mushroom. Mm. Wow. This one's a 10 out of 10. I <laughs> His favorite meal is rice and seaweed. What? Auntie Soda. Yes? Over the open one was <laughs> right here. Stop about the trash can. Right there, and I was right here, and it just opened. I know. It's voice automated. Look, watch. Open can. <gasps> Close. Open man. Oh! <laughs> These are yeah, buckwheat pancakes. Mm -hmm. mm. Right? And then I cut almond butter in the middle there. Not bad. I thought that I made this for you before. So I'm about to feed the dogs and I want to talk to you guys about Open Farm. This video is sponsored by them and they're definitely not new here on my channel. I've been feeding my dogs Open Farm for over three years now, which is insane to think about. I feed the dogs their freeze-dried raw toppers as well as their treats. Um, you can use their treats as toppers as well. They have the best of the best ingredients and 100% of their animal protein comes from farms with ethical practices. So you'll find meats like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised lamb, and wild-caught salmon. Open Farm carries lots of different recipes. They have their dry foods, wet foods, freeze-dried raw, and gently cooked. They also have delicious treats, bone broth, and kefir. But Leo and Luna's absolute favorite has to be their freeze-dried raw. It's made with 85 
95% raw animal ingredients and it's mixed with organic fruits and veggies. Honestly, toppers are a great way to kind of spice up your pet's meal, especially if they're not really food motivated or they're tired of the meals that they're currently having. I mean, if you really think about it, like imagine humans eating the same thing every single day. We're definitely gonna get tired of it at some point and that's what I tried to apply with my dogs. I also add their cod skins to their meals sometimes. Fish is really, really good for your dogs. It's high in omega-3s, so it's really great for their overall health as well as their coat. And this has a really nice texture. It's super crunchy. And this is 100% dried cod skins. Open Farm seriously has a topper for every pet and they start as low as $10. They're available in stores and online across the US and Canada. New customers can get 15% off by using my code SOFIA. The link will be in the description box, so check them out. I highly recommend, your pets will love it. And thank you so much to Open Farm for sponsoring today's video. Are you having fun? Huh? Memories of you fill my head and you see me I've been thinking about your smiling head Instead of focusing on me, I've been focusing on you. Luna's daycare got canceled last minute, so I just let her outside and she decided to go up the hill, which she hasn't done in a while. Now that the weather has cooled down, she can actually enjoy it outside. Oh, I want to show you guys the front landscaping that I did. In the backyard, I didn't do much. I just... <laughs> All of the plants that my mom planted when she was here died because I didn't have a dripper situation set up. Now I just added some roses on the left side and where my cutie tree or clementine tree is, I added an apple tree. So here are the roses. I'm having a methodology relaxing raspberry overnight oats. These are my favorite things to eat for breakfast. I'm gonna sprinkle this granola on top. This one has peanut butter, which I'm really happy about. And the granola gives it a nice crunch. Also, how cute is my cardigan? This is by Live the Process. Such a huge fan of the brand. They reached out to me and I made a couple of selects and I am obsessed with this cardigan. The details are so cute. Like they have these pearl looking buttons. They resemble like a seashell to like this lining, this light blue lining at the end of the sleeve. And the fabric is just, it's so durable and stretchy. Very, very high quality, I love this. Thank you. 
An eye booger, huh? You're going to take care soon. I know, you're going to see me Lee later. Okay? You just got to chill for a little bit because mommy got to work. There is a lot, quite a bit of things I need to do. I need to write a treatment, film a campaign, and do some editing, respond to emails. But we got this. We got this. I also made a little makeshift office in my dining room. I realized that my office desk and chair is not proportionate. So when I'm editing there, my wrists are way too high and I'm slouching over. I'm using this yoga block as my computer stand until my actual stand comes in because the one that I got is from Germany or something. Um, and I finally got like the magic keyboard and magic trackpad just so I'm not always like hunched over and I have some sort of good posture, though sometimes I still hunch over. But this has helped me so much. I don't know how I went this long without having the magic keyboard and trackpad because it is a game changer. been a wild couple of days. I was debating on even telling you guys this just because I honestly just figured I wouldn't, but just to like, just so you guys can feel me or understand how chaotic these last couple of days have been. As soon as we got back from Palm Springs, my sister showed me a new home listing. And usually when this happens, I kind of just, you know, scope it out, but like admire its beauty, not really get committed. I love looking at homes and I do it frequently. I never get to a point where I act on it um, because it just needs to be the right home. And again, there's no rush. I love my home and I love what I've done with it, but I know it's it's not my forever home because I've, I've outgrown the style in a sense. Anyways, there's this home that is a new listing and I absolutely fall in love with it. We got back on Thursday and I spent that entire evening and all day Friday just constantly looking at the home and they were having open house that weekend. Uh, me, Whaley, and Robin went on Saturday and then I went back by myself on Sunday. By Monday morning, I put an offer down and everything was super fast paced. I mean, the market in LA is really hot right now. But yeah, I kind of went for it and uh, long story short, I didn't get the home. Initially, there were four offers, including me. I believe last minute, everyone sent in their offers, and by the end of it, there were 15 offers, and it was very, very competitive. But it reached a point where it just didn't make sense because it's a smaller home than my current home, at least the indoor space. The outside is super spacious. What they did to the backyard was beautiful. I mean, there were so many different areas of the home that I really admired. There was an herb vegetable garden like all the way in the corner. And then there was a patch of grass, a gravel section with rocks. And then they also had a DG pad with the fire pit. There were just so many elements of the backyard that just made me adore it. And then if we're talking about the interior, oh my goodness. I honestly never stepped foot into a home where I'm like, this is me. This is what I've dreamed of. They had refined wood cabinetry. They had an atrium master shower. The master had like floor to ceiling windows and you would just see this little garden. It was 
Oh God, it was stunning. I was going to have to downsize, but it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make because I just thought that home was so special. It had a wabi-sabi style, so it's very, very minimal, airy. It had cement floors, not like typical wood flooring, um, or half of the house had wood flooring in the bedroom. This is why I didn't know if I was gonna talk about it because it's like, what is the point? It's not my home, but I guess to kind of give you guys some background on everything that's happened in the last couple of days because I went from like last week not even considering moving, wasn't even in the talks, I wasn't looking to a week later I'm putting an offer in and it was just like bam bam bam. So it was really overwhelming and you know it takes time to prepare all the documents and all of that stuff and simultaneously I was so busy with work and taking that on was something I should shouldn't be doing because it wasn't accounted for with the workload that I had but I just had to give it a shot and I would have always wondered what if if I didn't you know now I can just kind of walk away knowing I really tried my best and at some point it just becomes beyond ridiculous for what the house is selling for compared to what it's worth you know considering sizing space all of that but you know i told myself if it happens then it's meant to be my home and if it if it doesn't happen then it's just not in the cards for me and that's okay i don't know now that this is kind of over and done with i naturally had the thought of well now i have all my paperwork if i do want to buy a home so should i keep looking and i don't think i'm going to be actively looking unless it's you know another home comes up where it's just like has my name written all over it if that's not the case, then I'm not rushing to move because, yeah, I mean, I again, I do love my home and the layout of it. It's, it's very spacious and open and perfect for me and my two babies. <laughs> that's what's been going down. Other than that, Elena and Cairo have been here for the last couple of days and um, she's going to now hang out with my sister and we're going to do some things tomorrow since it's the weekend. But um, I felt kind of bad because I had so much work to do. But I try to take breaks whenever I could to take them like somewhere local. <sighs> but life has just been nonstop for the last two months. And it's looking that way for the next two months. <laughs> uh, I am feeling like pretty burnt out. <sighs> I don't know. It's weird because when I find myself not working... If I have like two hours to myself where I don't have anything to do, I kind of feel empty and sad. And I think that's because I have nothing to focus on and I start thinking about everything personal that's going on in my life. But when I'm constantly working, I'm kind of on robotic mode and I'm just getting shit done. But then when I'm doing that, I feel so depleted and then I kind of do feel depressed as well. I think my body is just like overworked um, to the point where I was getting cold sores like straight up. I haven't had a cold sore in so long and my body was just having a reaction from just overworking myself and not resting enough. It's hard to find that balance because I don't know what balance is right now. It's kind of like all in or nothing. You know, I say this now like that I kind of feel like I want to break, but then I have it for like five hours and I'm like, I'm ready to go. Like, what's the next thing? I don't know. Do any of you feel this way or get like this? I feel like I'm just confused. I confuse myself. My brain confuses itself. It's like, what do you want? Do you want to chill out? Do you want to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Since today is Saturday, I treated myself to kumquat coffee and a chocolate croissant. Open Farm sent these in a PR package along with their freeze dried raw. He's excited.
I'm headed to meet some friends for lunch. Afterwards, we're going to a selection event. It's an outdoor event in downtown. I haven't been to an event like this since pre-COVID, so I don't know what to expect. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Somebody, somebody like you